Good morning. Uh, welcome to our webinar. My name is Rachel Friesen. I am the events manager here at the Drupal Association. And this morning we're going to be talking about the benefits you receive as being a sponsor of DrupalCon Latin America. So if you're listening from your computer, we ask that you select the mic and speaker option uh, as far as your audio goes. And we request that you remain muted during the call. Uh, if you have any questions, we're more than happy to listen and answer those. Please feel free to use the Q&A window um, in the, the GoToMeeting setup. So these are some of the links that we're going to be going through and, and a few pieces of key information. Um, we're going to walk through the event kit um, and show you where a lot of the information uh, lies for your deliverables. Uh, the, I'll show you the uh, sponsorship packages that you've signed up for and um, just kind of go through some of the travel information that you may need as you get ready to um, make your travel arrangements for coming to Bogota. So coming here to the DrupalCon Latin America website under Sponsors and then Sponsor Event Kit, or you can go to the URL latinamerica2015.drupal.org slash sponsor slash event kit. Um, this has a lot of the information for you once you've signed up to become a sponsor of DrupalCon Latin America. So clicking on this link right here for the event kit will take you to um, this document, which has all of the information you need to know as a sponsor. So um, there's about 13 pages in here, and it will just kind of walk you through the various deadline deliverables, um, and it contains information that you need to know as you get ready to ship um, any items to Bogota, um, and as you get ready to register your staff, um, to set up your um, schedule, what kind of hours we're running for the, the booth. So let's go ahead and just kind of cruise through here. So uh, there's two webinars. You're up on this first one for about your benefits. Um, the next one coming up is how to maximize your sponsorship investment. And so here's a table of contents. All of these are little bookmarks, so if you want to click on those, they can help you jump down further into the document and kind of get into more of the details. If you're, if you're just looking for something related to like the exhibit hall, for example, you could click on the um, exhibit hall, um, and this will just kind of uh, help you navigate through the document. So this first section is pretty important. It includes all the important dates that, that you need to know as far as fulfilling your um, benefits. So you can kind of uh, look through the different items, and on the far right-hand side, there's the date and the deadline. Um, we will generally prompt you for something if, if there's an emergent deadline, um, and some of these things we've already um, achieved. So, for instance, one of the first things listed here is to send us your vector logo. Uh, we have the vector logo for almost everyone who signed up so far, uh, but if you don't, for example, I would obviously be uh, prompting you for that. As you continue to go down through the document, you'll notice there's things, for example, for the print ad. Um, and one thing that we want to point out is that not all benefits um, apply to all uh, sponsors. So if you're curious if this is a benefit that you receive with your sponsorship, the easiest way uh, to look that up is to go look at essentially the contract that you signed when you signed up to be a sponsor. So back on the DrupalCon Latin America website, there's this second or this first drop down sponsored DrupalCon. That brings you to this page where you can download the prospectus. The prospectus is what you signed as, a, as your sponsorship agreement. So I have it pulled up here. This prospectus um, details a lot of the um, demographic information, but then also with the core sponsorships, um, it details what you get with your sponsorship. So how many, um, for instance, conference passes you get, uh, what your setup is going to be, um, if you get a print ad, uh, what size that is. So this is a good uh, reference for um, those of you who are core, um, core sponsors. So you can kind of use that table um, in tandem with this event kit document to find, um, to find out what deadlines apply to you. If your web ad is included in your sponsorship, you can email that to me. Um, Essentially, anywhere where it says to email um, and it has a hyperlink, it will be to email it to me. Um, and you're welcome to send me any questions about anything as, as you kind of are working up your ads or, or other deliverable items. So I'll let, you can kind of explore this on your own. One of the things I really want to point out is um, how important it is for this DrupalCon to send me your tracking numbers for any shipped materials. Um, I will be going down on site the week before uh, the DrupalCon, and that helps me make sure that um, your items were received, and it'll help us troubleshoot if they haven't been received where they're at or um, locate them if they've been um, placed somewhere else on site. So it, essentially, if you could just send me the name of the shipper, so for instance, like UPS or FedEx, 
and whatever the tra tracking number is, and then a brief description of what it is. So like uh, two boxes, uh, t-shirts for booth. Uh, that way we can kind of uh, help manage those packages on site and make sure that you get the right um, items to the right places. With this DrupalCon, we are using our new jobs board, um, jobs.drupal.org. So in the past, we've had uh, DrupalCon job boards that are specific to the con and are very, were very simplistic. It was basically just a little bit of text um, and not a lot of, there weren't a lot of features or, or, or extra benefits to that job board. It was basically you could just post a job. So one of the great things about um, this benefit is you have the ability to post to Drupal jobs. So the first week in Feb or excuse me, the first week in January, we will be emailing you a coupon code to use on Drupal Jobs. So the way you use your coupon code on Drupal Jobs is you just make sure that you're logged in um, to your Drupal.org uh, account, and then you can go to the store and you can add a, add single job credits. You can add as many job credits as you need. Um, but the coupon codes that we give you work best with the single job credits. They don't work with the five um, job post credit bundle. So we, you can add as many single job credits as you need. And then when you get down to the checkout, you can merely apply the coupon code that we send you. Now we haven't set that up yet, so I can't uh, demonstrate that feature, but essentially you would enter in the coupon code click add coupon and you would notice that your um, order total will zero out. So you won't have a, a, any amount due. Um, one thing, uh, this kind of jumps back to shipping, but we do recommend that you have any of your items sent to the hotel, um, have them received on site by February 5th. That will help with us in, as far as receiving the items goes and making sure that um, everything is received um, in time for the event. So th the sections below this kind of first table with deadlines, uh, it really just goes into detail for individual items. So for instance, if, you're in, if you are um, able to contribute an, an item to the attendee tote bag, which again, this, this benefit doesn't apply to all sponsors, um, this has details about you know, how many pieces you should send, what's an appropriate thing to send, um, and we will be filling in the size of the tote bag. Once we have that, we're in the middle of sourcing that right now and should have it by the end of the month, um, but that way you can kind of plan accordingly. And then, again, I just want to really reiterate the importance of um, checking out the shipping instructions. So um, the, there is a shipping instructions section, and I'll jump to that now. <clears throat> There are specific um, shipping directions for your label based on what the item is. So for the most part, my guess is you'll be sending booth items. So this is the instructions here that you want to follow for your booth items. So you want to put your name. So for instance, it could be uh, the Drupal Association, if I were the sponsor, table, and then your table number. So your table number will be assigned when we go through uh, the process of booth selection. Um, if you're sending something for catering, so for instance, if you're um, like a lunch sponsor and you're sending branded napkins to send, um, here's information for that. And the tote bag items are separate and um, they should be sent to my attention at the hotel. Uh, those items, I just want to call out that the tote bag items need to be sent separately from your booth items uh, because we do uh, stuff those tote bags in advance of the show. So they, they do need to be pulled out separately so that we can have access to them. So let's just take another look at this document and see if there's anything else that needs to be pointed out. Um, this program guide information is a, something else that we're sourcing right now. And so I will have um, art specifications by the end of the month, hopefully within a couple weeks. And so this document that you're linking to from that web page, we act, edit, edit it live. And when we have new information like that, I will send out an email to the appropriate sponsor so that you have that as soon as it's available. So again, um, for these individual module sponsorships, for instance, with lunch, there's details as far as like how many items you should send for each day. Um, what kind of items, um, information about shipping and um, just more details that make sure that you, that you have all the information you need. But again, if there's anything where uh, you have questions, feel free to email me or call me. Um, so this section is applicable to pretty much everyone. It's uh, what to do on site for DrupalCon Latin America. So the location is the Royal Park Metro Hotel. It's uh, the, 
the conference is in the same hotel as where the as the official hotel for guests to sleep in. Um, so these are the hours for uh, the event. The actual conference is Tuesday and Wednesday, and on Thursday there will be sprints. So we are in the process of launching registration on the website. So once that registration has opened, I will email you a coupon code for you to get your free um, conference passes if that's included in your sponsorship. So the way that you would do that is you'd simply go through the process of registration and there's a portion um, where it asks for a coupon code and that will zero out any um, expense that has come in as far as adding a ticket to your cart. Um, if you need additional coupon codes beyond what is included uh, as far as a free coupon code or free ticket with your, excuse me, as far as a free ticket with your sponsorship, uh, let me know and I can give you something to give you the discounted early bird rate uh, for additional tickets if it's past the end of the early bird um, purchasing time. Um, so we uh, recommend, feel free to contact with, uh, put yourself in contact with your account manager or the DA staff. We will be around. There will be about a half a dozen of us um, on site. And um, it's a great time to connect with us and, and get to meet you face to face. So the information about the exhibit hall, it's a, if you've sponsored any of the other DrupalCons, it'll be a little bit smaller scale than some of those. It's, um, we will essentially be providing a table and chairs. Um, and that's kind of dependent on what your sponsorship level is. There's essentially room around the table and chairs where you could put up auto uh, up banners or thing, graphics like that, but there isn't uh, kind of the formal booth shell scheme that you would see at like DrupalCon uh, Europe or in one of the North American DrupalCons. So if you're planning on something other than kind of that type of setup, please let me know and we can talk about that and see if that's something that we can accommodate. I, I wanna make sure that you don't get on site and have any um, either surprises or, or not have the space to, to do what you were planning on doing. So it's best to kind of get ahead of that now. And again, here's our um, exhibit hall hours. Essentially the exhibit hall is open Tuesday and Wednesday. And the setup time is Tuesday morning from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, that will allow you time to set up before the keynote breaks. So essentially no one outside of the sponsors is really allowed in the exhibit hall until after the keynote session. Um, and then we will be having a coffee break in there, so that'll kind of drive people into the area. So the exhibit hall then tears down uh, Wednesday evening after the, um, after the closing session. Um, so then there is a link here to the exhibit hall floor plan. Um, over the next couple weeks, I'll be working with you to select a booth. You can kind of see on the floor plan the designations for platinums, um, golds and then silvers. So for platinums, you get two tables and two chairs, excuse me, two tables and four chairs. Um, golds, you get one table and two chairs. And then silvers, you're sharing a table. So it's half of the table essentially and one chair. And with those sponsorships, you get um, shared Wi Fi service with the conference and electrical service. And if you need to order um, a, any other additional exhibitor services, uh, such as AV or catering, you can contact Ingrid uh, at the hotel, and here is her email address in the vet kit. Uh, again, so then the final section is just about shipping information. So again, just make sure that you're really paying attention to the shipping deadlines, um, and any shipping and handling costs is incurred upon uh, your company. Uh, and the one thing that we were really clearly uh, instructed by the, our, our friends on site is essentially that if you're shipping anything to the event, you must prepay all customs and taxes on shipments or they will be sent back. Um, they won't, won't essentially make it through customs and, and into the country. So just be uh, diligent about working with your shipping provider to make sure that any of those expenses are handled um, or, or accommodated um, in advance of, of sending the items. Because the last thing we want is for you to come on site and not have what you're um, expecting to find. So that pretty much wraps up the event kit. The one other thing I wanted to kind of um, highlight is um, booking hotel rooms. So uh, the Metro Hotel Royal Park is our official hotel. And if you want to reserve, um, for instance, a room within the block, you can use the DrupalCon uh, promo code when you're checking out. You just need to make sure that the dates are within our kind of uh, room date block, so February 4th through the 14th. So if you go to um, their website, you can simply select the dates that you want, um, enter your promo code DrupalCon, and uh, hit submit. 
And they do have a version of their website in Spanish so that you can use it in uh, another language. And then here you can see the different room rates. Um, so the Drupal is the um, negotiated um, conference deal, and you can obviously add days um, or, or adjust that as you um, see fit. So that, that's the, the best way if you're just bulking um, a couple rooms here and there. Um, additionally, we do have a contact, um, Nat uh, Natalia, I believe, uh, who if you want to book a block of rooms, she is your primary point of contact for that. So you're welcome to reach out with her, uh, reach out to her uh, regarding larger group rates. And again, my name is Rachel Friesen. Um, I'm the events manager here at the Drupal Association. So I'm gonna be your primary point of contact if you have any questions or um, anything that you're trying to track down, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, this is my contact information. It's rachel at association.drupal.org and you can always reach me on Skype uh, as for a call or a chat or anything of that nature. Um, let me look and see if we had any questions come up. Okay, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you so much for attending.